For the past four years, if a passenger got caught riding the San Diego trolley without a ticket, they were allowed to buy a ticket on the spot for $2.50. No citation issued. That policy has led to a 32% fair evasion rate and the loss of $1 million per month in revenue. Yesterday, the MTS board voted unanimously to take a different course. Right now, the behavior is an odds game, and they know it. They know I'm checked 8 to 10% of the time, and the penalty for those other nine free trips is $2.50. It's a mathematical lose-lose proposition. The purpose of the old policy was to keep low-income passengers from getting $200 citations and having to appear in court just because they couldn't afford to buy a trolley ticket. Now, under the new policy, all passengers found without a ticket will be issued a $25 citation, which can be worked off with community service or simply paid online or over the phone within 120 days. If they do evade uh, paying, those penalties are going to be significant and they will be held accountable uh, if they're caught. Reaction to the new fare policy at the Fenton Parkway trolley station was mixed. Sometimes the trolley comes and you can't get your ticket. And then we have so many homeless people around here. They just need to just uh, let them pay on the spot if they can. If not, it is what it is. I think it's also a way to maintain safety for others because a lot of homeless are on the trolley. And obviously, if they don't have the money, they can't be on the trolley. The MTS board also wants to know if closing off San Diego trolley stations and installing turnstiles so only paid customers can enter would reduce the ticket evasion rate. There will be a public education campaign for the next few months, and then the new fair enforcement policy goes into effect on February 1st. In Mission Valley, David Godfordson, CBS 8.